So some people like to work in Procreate as well, and I wanted to just do a quick tutorial about how you can export some assets from Procreate. Right now you can see the Procreate file I have. This is some flowers and things, and they're separated on layers. Uh, some of them are grouped together. Um, and I want to just export this as a PSD. So this is that file that I exported from Procreate, and now you can see it's in Photoshop. Here are the different layers. Uh, so I got my layers. Some of these were made into groups. And what I want to do is bring this into Adobe Arrow and grab these assets. Uh, so one thing that happened, I think there's, I'm, I might clean this up a little bit. I think there was actually like this layer one that was uh, a blank layer. And then there's also this background here, which I was using to draw with. But uh, I'm thinking ahead in Adobe Arrow. I, want, I just want the flower assets or these decorative assets. I don't want the background actually. So I'm actually going to turn that off or I'm going to delete it. Uh, so it doesn't cause any issues. And then I should have all these assets separated out. So I'm going to save this file, uh, Procreate Flowers .psd. Let's go into Adobe Arrow. And let's make a new file here. I'll call it Procreate Flowers. Uh, OK, so again, I'm going to import my assets by hitting this pr uh, plus button. And we're going to go. into my Procreate folder, grab that PSD file, and let's import that in. Um, I think this was, the size of this was the size of the iPad. So just to give you some idea of how big it is, uh, let's scale it up a little bit. And hmm, what's happening here? It looks like not everything is coming in correctly. So. Hmm. Let's go in and uh, and check, like maybe make another, save another version of our Photoshop file. Again, I think you have to kind of play with this a little bit. And um, one thing I no notice is that I have these like folders, these groups, and I'm wondering if having them as groups is creating some difficulties, some errors. So what I'll do is I'll select the group, and I'm going to merge the layers. It's going to be Command E. Uh, so I'm going to command E all of these. And now I have them all separated on layers. You can see if I solo them, these are my different layers. And maybe that's going to be OK, I hope. So I'm going to save this as photo another. I'm going to save this as a Photoshop file. I'll call it Procreate Flowers 2. Let's go back to Arrow. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to try importing the other file and see if that gets rid of some of my issues. It is a slightly smaller file, 6.7 megabytes. Um, again, be mindful of how large your files are. If your file is, you probably don't want to bring in a, a, a huge Photoshop file. Hmm. OK, so I did this thing where I um, I thought maybe there was some kind of weird issue with saving down those, uh, those layers. This is kind of a weird thing that I just, I'm, I'm troubleshooting this as I go. Um, I made copies of these layers, and, and, um, and just, again, I, I merged the layers down. Um, what that one thing that that did is it made these a little bit more opaque. Again, I'm not really sure why that seemed to work, but I I find that sometimes if you mess with the layers, uh, resave things, and if there's just get rid of any peculiarities, um, Arrow is still in development and still a little bit buggy. But uh, finally, I was able to bring this in, and now I can you know maybe extend these extend the space a little bit, maybe add some space again. And uh, whoops. 
Yeah. Now I have this, these like 3D elements and I wonder if I can uh, go ahead and, and take these, um, make a scene out of this. Maybe I'll put a little bit of animation on this. Uh, we'll add some, maybe a little bit of scale, 1.25. And uh, just preview what that looks like. And maybe we'll just do like a back and forth. Um, what if we change it to bounce? Let's preview that in here. So as we move around, that's what that looks like. And maybe we'll, we'll uh, you know, we can, we can toy with this. Maybe that's a little bit too strong. 1.1, maybe that's a little bit better. So let's go out and take this out into the real world. It's taking some time to load my scene. Once that uh, gets in there, I'm gonna pan around to make sure I, I orient myself, drop it in there. It looks like a little bit small. Uh, I can always select that uh, asset and scale it up a little bit. Um, so pulling the sliders there and I will go and, and take a preview of the scene. We got that scaling animation that we put in Adobe Arrow. Here I am back in Procreate, and I'm just gonna clean this file up again. I'm gonna export a, an animated GIF. Um, I wanted to get rid of, I had this that extra layer that I didn't need. I also wanna um, turn off that background and then go to uh, ex, uh, share it as a animated GIF. Uh, inside the options, you can set the frames per second, and that's really gonna affect how fast these things move on. So in, in Procreate, you can, create an anime GIF based on the layers that you have. So it's just cycling through the different layers. Uh, so maybe three frames per second, that's an okay speed. And I'm gonna turn on transparent background so that this uh, won't have a background and export that out, bring it into Adobe Arrow. Okay, so I'm gonna try to grab that animated GIF that I exported from Procreate. Um, I'm gonna make a new project, Procreate Animated GIF, and what I'll do is import that asset. I'll press that plus button. Uh, looks like I have it here, Procreate Flowers Animated GIF. And yeah, it comes in. I might wanna scale this up a little bit. And um, again, if I go to preview this, I won't see anything because I do need to add this behavior onto it. So select the asset here, add a trigger. Maybe we'll just start uh, we'll, we'll say start and then we'll say play images because this animate gif is an image sequence um, We should be able to uh, you know, we'll we'll have the default speed, but we could slow it down or speed it up um, I'll say infinite for right now and now when we go to preview that you should see that it is popping on So now we have an animated gif um, again, we took this from procreate and we're gonna work with that and bring it into the real world.